Hi and welcome to our January tax webcast brought to you from the sunny and warm Sydney, Australia. Our January webcast will cover December developments and January developments for 2018. So let's set the countdown clock and start. We will start today's update by looking at some local tax developments. Earlier this month, the House of Representatives approved an amendment to the law regulating the settlement of overdue taxes, which was published in the official Government Gazette on the 3rd of January 2018. The amendment extends the deadline for the submission of applications regarding overdue taxes for tax years up to and including 2015, which have been assessed by the Tax Department and were payable as of 3rd of July 2017. The deadline is extended by a further six months from the 3rd of January 2018 to the 3rd of July 2018. With respect to applications for regulation of tax liabilities which were assessed after the 3rd of July 2017 and relate to obligations of tax years up to and including 2015, the law remains unchanged. That is, applications must be made within six months from the date on which the tax becomes overdue. As a reminder, in order to qualify for the application, the taxpayer must be up to date with the submission of all tax returns and must not have any pending tax liabilities for the years 2016 onwards. In addition, throughout the period of the regulation, taxpayers must be compliant with all their obligations to the tax department. A circular was recently issued which interprets Section 520G of the Income Tax Law. As a reminder, this is a section that imposes a deemed benefit of 9% on shareholder and director balances. To our surprise, the circular states that deemed benefit on balances of directors and shareholders who are not Cyprus tax residents should be calculated for the whole year, irrespective of the period of stay of the person in Cyprus. This is contrary to the interpretation and practice up to now, which was to calculate the benefit based on the days of stay of the person in Cyprus. We understand that this issue is under discussion between the Commissioner and the Tax Committee of ICPAC, as it was never the intention of the law to impose tax on the balances of non-Cyprus tax residents. We strongly disagree with the interpretation given in this circular, and we have already made relevant representations for its withdrawal. On the 11th of December 2017, the Tax Department announced the extension of certain deadlines relating to country-by-country -country reporting. The deadline for the filing of the first country-by-country -country reports in respect of multinational groups which have a reporting fiscal year ended 31 December 2016 has been extended from the 31st of December 2017 to the 28th of February 2018. In addition, the deadline for the Cypriot constituent entities, which had the 31 of December 2017 deadline to file their notifications for the 2017 reporting fiscal year, has been extended to the 15th of January 2018. Okay. Lastly, in late December, the decree which specifies the public interest rate for 2018 was issued. The rate remains the same as that for 2017, which is 3.5%. The public interest rate is the interest rate charged by the government for late payment of tax, as well as the rate used for the tax refunds. Let's now look at some tax treaty updates. On the 3rd of January, Cyprus signed a tax treaty with Saudi Arabia. The applicable withholding rates are as follows. There is no withholding tax on dividends if the beneficial owner is a company which holds directly at least 25% of the capital of the dividend-paying company, otherwise a 5% withholding tax will apply. There is also no withholding tax on interest as long as the re recipient of the interest is the beneficial owner of the income. With respect to royalties, 
if the recipient is the beneficial owner of the royalties, the withholding rates are 5% of the gross amount of royalties which are paid for the use of or the right to use industrial, commercial or scientific equipment and 8% of the gross amount of the royalties in all other cases. We will close off today's tax update with a brief reminder of the deadlines coming up. 31st of January is a deadline for the submission of the deemed dividend distribution declaration for the tax year 2015. 31st of January is also the deadline for the payment of the second installment of the 2017 provisional tax without incurring an interest. And finally, 28th of February is a deadline for submitting objections on assessments issued in December 2017. As a reminder, although the normal deadline for submitting an objection on an assessment is the end of the month following the month in which it was issued, for December the law allows an additional month for submitting an objection. This concludes our tax update. Thank you for watching.